3rd of May is marked across the world as Press Freedom Day, but many argue and say that there is very little to celebrate. Increasing attacks on journalists and the alleged muzzling of the free press poses grave concerns. The 3rd of May is meant to celebrate the fundamental principles of press freedom, evaluating it around the world and defend the media from attacks. The United Nations Educational Fund as well as the International Federation of Journalists has released its report on press freedom in South Asia and the findings are worrying to say the least. The International Federation of Journalists has documented 68 cases of journalists being detained or jailed in South Asia with Pakistan leading the number. Between May 2017 and April 2018, four journalists have been jailed in India, 21 in Pakistan and 19 in Nepal. The Maldives jailed 11 journalists, whereas Bangladesh has put 10 behind bars. The report also lists instances of internet shutdowns in South Asia, which stand at 97, with India leading the list with 82. Pakistan is second with only 12 instances. Afghanistan remains the most dangerous place for journalists in South Asia. Between May 2017 and April 2018, 22 journalists died in the line of duty in Afghanistan, while in the same period, five journalists were killed in Pakistan. India has uh, recorded eight killings of journalists in those uh, those uh, two elements, which I believe is quite high, given that uh, there is no active war ongoing in India. Pakistan also, uh, the situation is uh, really harsh for the journalists. It is one of the most dangerous countries in the world for the journalists because there is also uh, uh, the killings happening, the attacks on the journalists are happening, uh, and all those countries, if you also look into the situation of impunity, there is a high degree of impunity in the crimes uh, uh, crimes against journalists. So uh, uh, the, uh, the killers of the journalists are scot free. They walk free. South Asia probably as a reason is the worst region uh, for the press freedom, for the freedom of expression and uh, for, for the safety of the journalist and it's sliding down. Palki Sharma Upadhyay now joining us from our newsroom. Uh, Palki, India on that world list seems to have plunged since uh, the records were initially maintained. Indeed, uh, but we also have to bear in mind, Amitabh, which reports we're looking at, and that is what has uh, put a question mark on the credibility of the so-called surveys and, and research stories that come out. I'll give you an example of a Reuters report that was released just a few days back that uh, apparently conducted a survey, but uh, those surveyed and those spoken to were journalists of a particular of shall I say, uh, leaning, uh, who, were, who were known anti-government journalists and, and they said that they felt threatened, they felt ostracized, they felt persecuted under the current regime and they were not encouraged to do stories that were critical of the government, which is, which is all right. It is nobody's contention that, that all is well in, in the press in India or anywhere else in the world. Uh, but for an agency like Reuters, which is one of the oldest uh, in the world and one of the most reputable, to come out with a report like this also further vitiates the environment and, and begs the question what sort of agenda-driven reports are coming out. So. Uh, I think one needs to look at the larger picture, one needs to put uh, all sides of the story out, out for, for, us to, uh, for us to understand what the status of press in India is and elsewhere in the world. Talking about elsewhere in the world, we've seen over the last few days the situation in Afghanistan and uh, there uh, journalists dying while they were covering stories has uh, hit the headlines. Indeed. Uh, uh, in fact, that is something that has been highlighted recently. The Pulitzer Prizes came out and, and some reports said that uh, three journalists who won this prize in the last few years, by the time they received the prize, had left journalism. This is one of the most... Uh, uh, challenging professions. Uh, there was a report that came out a few years back that put journalists in terms of job security with, with janitors. Uh, so there are a lot of questions both in terms of the kind of wages they earn and, and the kind of environment they operate in, especially in, uh, in, in situations like Afghanistan where there's very little security. Uh, so yes, those questions need to be addressed and Afghanistan remains an example interestingly and, and unfortunately this incident coming just a few days before World Press Freedom Day and we are paying a tribute here on Beyond to those 10 journalists who were killed in the twin blasts in Kabul. Balkishar Mahupadne reporting from our newsroom.